Okay, at the international level, the centerpiece of international politics is what's called the Kyoto Protocol, part of a broader, what's called the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Really? Denmark in December of 2009, when they're supposed to have an agreement. This is our supply curve of oil. And we're right about here on the top of it. So, we've got this decline that's going to happen. And we have this increasing demand. We've got large countries increasing their need for fossil fuels. It looks like kicking indigenous people off their land. It looks like drying up the groundwater through like eucalyptus trees everywhere. It encourage um, more development in our downtowns and our centers to, so to get people to be able to walk rather than have to drive to places. The federal tax credit for the Downeaster runs out in 2009. This is a 10 state cap and trade program. Oh hey, the next Portland Green Streets Day is coming up. Wear your green t-shirt. Developing and supporting local farmers and local foods. That we're facing uh, global warming, that we're facing water pollution, air pollution, uh, overpopulation, uh, famine. Those are the symptoms of the crisis. Very often the acceleration of progress is only a progress of acceleration. People are moving there because they want to participate and they want to shape and transform culture. You have a, a place at the table when these decisions are made, you have a voice. But there's a level of wisdom that I think is happening with uh, the generation that's now coming of age that is, um, uh, I don't know how to express it really. It's thoughtful, it's caring, it's integrative, it's community-based, um, it's uh, earth-oriented and uh, so, uh, about sustainability. It's about contributing. Uh, it's about that sense of uh, you know, we're all in it together. But the artist can and should do more. In addition to creating works of art, the artist is also a citizen and a human being. Um, and so here lies, I think, like the opportunity. What, what can you begin to imagine? To give them a helping hand to a happier future. What if children were taught that the best things in life are not things? What if Mecca had a garden? The city of Portland here and says, uh, what if we utilize trains and buses to break our dependence on the automobile? What if we started building trucks today? What if we stopped the expansion of 295? What if we use the media to create a value paradigm shift in this culture?